Hello, my name is Maria de Souza. I'm the founder of Posture Queen. This is a school to learn all things to do with good posture for a healthy body and mind and of course elegance. Today I'm bringing to you a short lesson uh, that will help you to improve your posture and release any tension um, in the back, the shoulders and the neck. So we're going to do it sitting on a chair. So you can sit on a chair towards the front of a chair. The first thing that we do when we sit on a chair is to connect to our sitting bones. So if you don't know where your sitting bones are and what the purpose of them is, please watch my video called Meet Your Best Friends, where I talk you through the sitting bones and explain why they are your best friends. So connect your sitting bones and sit tall with the torso upright. These exercises, um, you're going to feel it in your back, in the ribs, in the shoulders, in the neck. Please be mindful of how all these areas are feeling today. Do not force, do not push, and most importantly, do not go through pain. Only go to that point where it feels comfortable, okay? So you're going to cross your arms and bring one arm, doesn't matter what crossing um, you do because we're going to cross both ways, okay? So you bring one elbow on top, so you hug yourself and bring one elbow on top of the other, if they can. If for some reason they don't come on top of um, the other like so, don't worry about it, just do what you can, okay? And you're going to start by resting your elbows on your chest. And we're going to do this with the breath. So the breath guides the movement. The breath tells you when to start the movement and when to stop it, okay? And not the other way around. So don't rush the breath to meet um, the movement. It's the other way around. The movement for the breath the movement follows the breath. So when the breath starts, it's when we start moving. When the breath stops, when we, that's when we start moving, okay? However, if you find that combining the movement with the breath is too much for you, it's too stressful, so don't worry, let go. Let go of um, combining the movement with the breath. Just breathe normally and comfortably. Okay, so we're going to breathe in, no, we're going to breathe out and you're going to round the spine so that the chin comes towards the chest and the elbows close at your belly button, exhale, inhaling, you're going to lift the elbows, lift the chin away from the chest, you're going to point the elbows towards the ceiling. Exhale, you're going to come around the spine once again and you do this a few times. Inhaling up, be very mindful with your neck, with your spine, your lower back, do not force, do not push. Exhale, round, notice the movements in your hip joints, in your pelvis, the pelvis needs to move as well. And see how far you can take your elbows towards the ceiling without push, without force, without pain. I'm going to do this a few times. Make sure that your jaw is relaxed, the facial muscles are relaxed, everything is soft, you're not creating any unnecessary tension anywhere. Mm. 
Okay, next time you come down, notice which elbow you have on top and let go. Ah, and rest for a moment. Feel yourself, your shoulders, the ribs, the back, the neck. And then you're going to cross the other way, same thing, the elbow on top of the other elbow. As you inhale, um, exhale, you round, take the chin towards the chest, the elbows towards your belly button. Inhaling up. Movements, feeling and same thing. Your back, your shoulders, your neck, your ribs. Okay, next time you come down, you're gonna release and rest. Breathe in and out. Okay, now you're gonna cross the other way. This time you bring the elbows up parallel to the floor, more or less. Okay, they need to be in the air. You're going to breathe in again, combine the movement with the breath if that suits you. Inhale in the middle and as you exhale, you're going to keep the chin and the eyes aligned with the elbows. Inhale in the middle, exhale turn to your left hand side, keep looking at your elbow so that the head doesn't go away. Um, further than the torso, okay? So the head stays with the torso. Inhale into the middle, exhale to the other side. Inhale to the middle, exhale to the side. Keep the elbows together if possible. If it's not possible, again, you do what you can. The jaw is relaxed, the shoulders are relaxed as much as you can. Notice movement you can feel in your pelvis. So the head, the chin stays aligned with the elbow. So the head doesn't go further than the torso. Of course, the head can go, there's more movement available in your neck, but you don't do that here, okay? Feel your pelvis moving, so you're not moving only from the spine, the pelvis is making movements as well. Okay, next time you come to the middle, let go, notice which elbow you have in the top. <sighs> then you're going to cross the other way and we're going to do the same thing, okay? So the elbows, one on top of the other if possible. Inhale in the middle, you're going to turn to the side, doesn't matter which side you go because you're going to go both ways. Keep your chin and eyes aligned with the elbows. Inhale into the middle, exhale to the side. So you see that there is not a big movement here because um, the spine can't, um, can't turn that much, okay? Your neck can, but the rest of the spine can't. So don't force, don't push. Inhale into the middle, exhale to turn to the side. Mm -hmm. 
allow the breath to the movement to follow the breath not the other way around when the breath starts you start the movement when the breath stops you stop the movement it's only a second or so that you stop but make sure you do next time you come to the middle let go and never rest let's feel your back your neck make sure that you do this movement softly and that you're not creating if you created too much tension then you're going to be um you, you're just straining and um it's not going to feel very nice you need to let everything go and only do what you can without forcing without pushing okay now we're going to do one more movement here so you're going to cross your arms again this time we're going to make a C shape with the elbows okay you're going to cross the elbows one on top of the other if possible you're going to on the exhale if you're combining the breath with the movement exhale you're going to bring the elbows down just like before and as you inhale you're going to take the elbows to the side and then up 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 exhale down 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 to the middle inhale to the other side and up 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 and then exhale down 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 to the middle inhale up so you're making a c shape with the elbows And next time you come to the middle, let go. Notice which elbow is on the top. And you're going to cross the other way and you're going to do the same. Inhaling, rounding. Exhaling up. Sorry, it's the other way around, isn't it? So it's exhaling down, inhaling up, exhaling down, inhaling up. time you come to the middle here let go and rest feel yourself back shoulders ribs neck ah, this is the end of the lesson go back and repeat all these steps once again if you can if you want and just notice how that um, feels um, now after you've done once the second time is going to be maybe a little bit smooth and easier to do thanks very much for watching if you liked this exercise give me the thumbs up and share it around with your friends and i'll be back with more short lessons for you thank you very much for watching and i'll see you at the next video bye bye now